Papa Green Shorts and today my wife and I are on the way to look at countertop material as well as tile. Our first stop is Casatino. Twenty fifth year. All right. Here's the eco. Yeah, that's what I Do you like a built-in sink like that? We have all these different. This is Melanie Williamson. Oh, hello. <laughs> Um, at Cosentino, we have several different kinds of product lines. We have Decton, which is our ultra compact surface, Silestone, which is our quartz line, Eco, which is our green friendly quartz line. Right. Um, Sensa is pre treated granite, uh, which means that you don't have to worry about continuing to seal it or maintain it over the years. Pruxury is semi precious stones that we actually mold together. You can see the samples yeah. right Yeah, those here. are gorgeous. It yeah. is stunning. amazing. You can backlight them as well, so it's, it's definitely a showstopper. Um, and then Scalia is uh, more of our marbles and um, those type of natural products. So we've got a lot of options here with the Cosentino family. So the, the recycled product use, uses glass? 75% re recycled compound and post-industrial or post-consumer materials. So the other 25% is just going to be the resin that you use to mm -hmm. bind it. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And natural quartz, which is um, one of the hardest uh, natural surfaces out there. And that way you don't have to worry about it scratching or staining. It's extremely durable. But we've got the ones that have the big veins that look like marble, the concrete. Here's that's, kind of that. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That wood finish. So this kind of looks that like a, that. Um, White wash. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. Kind of give you that more modern but farmhouse look. Here's like a, a black walnut kind of look and feel, which is what's on that kitchen in the main showroom. Yeah. Um, oh, there's that wood. Oh, look at that. Yeah, different woods and tones. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. You've been over there a long time. <laughs> <You've>... <laughs> I know, this is just some of them. Do you like that for the kitchen? I, yeah, I'm, yes. <laughs> What do you think about I a like gray, saving. like a gray cabinet? What, what kind of cabinet were we're? Um, we're looking at gray. Okay. Just like the yep. dove gray. Mm -hmm. So that would be really So kind of like that. this, like a lighter color like that, right? The, lighter you know. than that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But that would be nice if, if, if we are in white cabinets and then this, that might be too much white. So you got more of this stuff in the warehouse, right? I do, yes. There's more in the warehouse. Let's go see. It's going to go with your outfit nicely, honey. That's right. Yeah. Bring out the color of your eyes. <laughs> have the look and feel of marble, but without all the maintenance and um, really them kind of wearing down over the years. You don't have to worry about it scratching or staining or etching. Uh, it'll look like this forever and ever. And it also comes in um, a suede finish, which is kind of that matte, non-gloss mm -hmm. finish, which actually makes it appear more like a natural marble. And this one kind of mimics the look of the white Carrera, which is very popular, mm -hmm. been around for Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah, the Carrera yeah. is a classic marble. Mm -hmm. We at Cosentino want to stay in front of the trends and being the, the leader uh, for 75 years now. You're a leader in the industry, but at the same time, you have to innovate, right? So. Exactly. Our second stop today on the tile and countertop trip is Specialty Tile. This is actually their small showroom. After you miss. We actually pulled out our style stone samples and we're gonna match them with some tile. So do you guys wanna kinda of start with the kitchen or? Yes. Okay, so this is Oceanside glass. Oh. Um, they're very eco-friendly. It's a cast glass, uh -huh. so the color's all the way through, so kind of their color palettes and kind of the more simple looks. So they do the linear mosaics, they have the squares. So like they'll have, a, they have the clean lines to start with, That's or if you want something that has more of a hand-modeled edge. And then every single one of their colors comes with an iridescent finish, and a, a normal glass finish, and then a matte finish. You can tell on the bottom that's the iridescent. 
It just gives a little bit of a sheen and adds a little color to it. Uh -huh. And that one would be a nice finish. To so the bevels it's, on it. Mm -hmm, it's a bevel, so it's called an intro and an outro. So the intro, uh -huh. outro, uh -huh. and you can do a blend or you could just do one. That works for the video theme too. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> and this actually would look really pretty with your countertop oh, yeah. as it is. That's pretty. Yeah, we brought this board in just for you. Yeah. <laughs> did <laughs> Melanie, did you call ahead over here? That was very sharp marketing right there. Anne was telling me that tile by its nature is sustainable. Yep. Well, we're really excited to help you with this project. Um, tile is definitely the original sustainable material. Um, you don't see that as much in the United States because you know you're not walking into this cathedral where this original mosaic floor is still down from you know yeah, probably yeah. the 13th century, right? But it does happen. It happens all over Europe, um, where you really see these amazing like hand laid. Um, high-level artwork installations that people do and and they're still there right they might be a little worn but they're still there mm. um, and underfoot yes, too. yes yes and under walk on these tiles probably wars and occupations and what yeah. have you right like there's they've seen a lot uh, those floors I'm sure um, in the US you know people are a little bit more trend driven um, they tend to focus on the uh, recyclability of stuff or the the reuse more than the sustainable mm. part of it if tiles installed right you could it could last for you know 100 plus years it'll outlive you um, so it's great to really think about that tile purchase like an investment like it's, mm. it's really meant to last um, they're they're very well made material they're they're some of the hardest man-made materials uh, that you can buy porcelain is you know you cut it with a diamond blade for a reason it's very tough wow. um, so we're gonna look at some recycled options but we're also gonna look at some uh, sus other sustainable options as well all right we're gonna go check out the, the back room line that we carry that's a fabric look um, and this line is all made in Tennessee so it's okay. a really great value it also comes in a 24 by 24 which is a really nice seamless look even for a smaller bathroom is that that size is that 24 uh, that's a 24 okay. yeah so a lot of people are hesitant to use larger tiles in a small space but actually it makes the space seem a lot bigger hmm. um, mm -hmm. and we have tons of examples of little baby floors that we could show you that like oh yeah well I, when I see it installed like that it works mm -hmm. like generally a tile looks bigger when it's on, like when you're holding it then when it's installed on the floor all of a sudden magically it looks a lot smaller this that is, really is not cool wood Um, white marble looks, this is a top seller. Um, this is white marble look because it has that nice dark gray vein. Mm -hmm. and it comes in other marble colors if you kind of want that classic look. Crate is a really popular look. It kind of has that like rustic mm -hmm. farmhouse mm -hmm. look. Um, and it comes in an 8x48 and also a 24x48, which is a really cool size. Wow, that's huge. Uh, so, as far as sustainable, locally sourced materials, we have porcelain that's all made in Tennessee. Uh, we have handmade what we call art tile that's usually made in um, out west in the United States. And then we've got recycled wood, recycled barnwood, and then we've got recycled thin brick that has been repurposed. We've got some choices here. So. Lots and lots of choices. Choosing sustainable tile, that's one thing that makes a greenhouse green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share, and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.